I'm doing my favorite 13 features of the new iPad OS update, and this is my favorite one. Number four, desktop class browsing in Safari. Let's take a look. That's right, with iPad OS, you now have full desktop browsing in Safari. This is huge. So now the iPad is becoming slowly more like the MacBook and can actually replace your other devices. So if I try accessing Google Docs, I should have the full browser version, and I do. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. I can type some text. I can access add-ons. I can access version history. I have access to my sidebar. This is a game changer for the iPad, for sure. I can finally access the Explore menu in Google Docs. Apples, search, images, add, yes. That's what I want. I also heard that Apple has released more keyboard shortcuts in Safari as well. So you should do, be able to do all things like select all with command A, cut with command X, paste with command V, uh, do bullet points with shift command eight and all of those wonderful things that you're used to doing on the Mac. Now, if you watched episode three, I told you in this episode, I'd show you how to do split screen in Safari as well. Take a look. So let's say I wanted to drag an image from one browsing tab to the other. All I have to do is go to that tab, drag it down and over, and now I have my split screen in Safari. I can access two websites at the same time. Again, I can drag one side or the other, and I simply take that image on one side, drag it over in my Google Doc, and there I go. This is awesome. Now I should be able to do the same thing with text. So if I select some text on one side, I should be able to take it and drag it over to the other side as well, and there you see it worked. Now, if I want to merge these tabs back again, simply long press on your tabs icon in the bar and select Merge All Windows, and then you'll be back to where you started from. The last thing I need to show you is that Safari now has a dedicated section for downloads. So here I found an image of apples that I'd like. I can long press on it and select Download Linked File, and now I see up in the Safari bar an icon for my downloads. Pressing that shows me my available downloads. I can clear them, or by hitting the magnifying glass, be taken to the downloads folder in my iCloud Drive. I am super excited about this one feature in iPad OS. It's gonna be a game changer. And speaking of game changers, take a look at my next episode, which is going to be the new keyboard in iPad OS. Like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.